Hey everyone, Ddub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Civ 3 World War 2. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm thinking. I could leave the infantry there to secure that thing. Cause, yeah, yeah, here's what we'll do. Ooh, whoopsie. Oh well, that's fine. Since there's no road here, this square isn't in that much danger. Um, yeah, I'll just start dealing with them. See what I have here. Sure, let's use the light cruisers to do this. If I can get them leveled up, they can be more effective later. Let's see, there was that one. I'm probably going to eventually go through here and rename the beginnings of all their names just so I can easily keep track of them. I think the Nuremberg's the last one, right? Oh, that's a Konigsberg. I might have more than just three, too. I can never remember. Light cruisers are never that vital unless you're Britain, in which case you get some very special ones. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I should do any scouting or anything. We just need to attack them with everything we got. Warsaw's the big one. This is the one I'm certain is much more defended. I might hold on a minute. Sound effects. I just turn that down. Everything else gets quieter too, but at least that's not as loud. Okay, well, there's no point in having the HQ. Do I have two of them here? No, just the one. No point in having him hang around. I'm not too worried about the enemies bombing them. Uh, oh, awesome! We can, we can hit them. Okay, well, let's grab our Heinkels. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, they took that. Okay, I have 87 Bs there, so we'll be good. But before I use the 87 Bs, I want to hit them with as much as I can. Because we might be able to kill some stuff. Oh, boy. Okay, we actually did some. Okay. And then hit this one. I know they have some wounded guys in there. Got more Heinkels. Cool. Boy, this isn't going nearly as well as it did last turn. Fortunately, I have a pretty solid number of these things. There we go. I'm 
Eventually, Heinkels and Dorniers will be pretty much entirely phased out. Well, not the Dorniers. I'll use those the same way I used Blendheims as Britain, just to observe long distances. But Heinkels, they're just inferior. Their only advantage is they're cheap. They're not terrible. They're just not good in comparison with other German planes. Germany gets kind of the best of everything. They have the strongest ships, although they're expensive and they take forever to actually get. But even the ones you start with, the Bismarck is the most powerful, like, second-generation battleship that the game gives you. No matter who you are. They have easily the most powerful and versatile subs, because Type 9s and Type 41s, I think they are. Or is it 49? One of the two. Can see, uh enemy subs. Their destroyers are just, by default, better. Until you get to 1941 destroyers, at which point they all even out anyway. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to use the 87s. 87s are too valuable over here. Um, I have more of them right here. I'll just yoink them. I forgot I had this guy here, too. Okay, well, I have one of the SS over here, right? I'll wait until it's done with planes. Okay. Yeah, do not touch the English Channel with a 10-foot pole. That'll get you killed. German infantry is, I think, the strongest until 1943, when America and Britain can catch up to them, but they're the only ones. Their artillery is better than basically everything until you get those really powerful Soviet siege weapons. I don't even remember what those things are. I think they're artillery divisions, which have like a, a 70 bombard and an 8 rate of fire or something like that, and they're lethal. They're nasty, but they take forever to build. Okay, um, I have you. I'm gonna try to kill this. Please don't die. Okay. That's exactly why. Now I got some more health to work with. Um, there might have been some noise right there. Did I put one in here as well? Was that the, the LAH? Yes, so the other one is the... I don't remember who the other one is. Let's see. Okay, so I must have put the other one probably moving this way. Yep, there he is. It's the Germania. All right. Well, let's use the Kempf. Sweet. Um, you. Alright, that's it for Warsaw. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that really wounded panzer. Uh, do I have any other panzers I can use? The light divisions are okay, but Polish units are pretty strong. And I'd rather level up the ones I'm going to use more. Thank you. I don't think it can level up to Veteran in the same turn. Oh, dang it. That was my... Yeah, no, I deserve that. At least their guy didn't level up. That would have been disastrous. Okay. Uh, yeah, you stay here and heal up. You go to Breslau and heal up. I think everyone else is full up on health, right? Should be able to heal in there. <laughs> this guy got zone controlled, because of course he did. Honestly, I'm just going to disband him. He's useless. It's worth a lot of shields, apparently. Okay, anything else in here damaged? That is, but that's it. Cool. 
let's wake up everything. You can stay there. And the other German security division can go the here. The rest of this is 88s and infantry. You're all getting shipped over here. Oh, yes. Um, okay. Prague has the ironworks. This is where I'm going to start us. I'm just going to put down mines everywhere to begin with. Awesome. We're going to hold off on further attacks until I'm sure of some stuff. Um, that's real close to the enemy lines. I think Nuremberg's not bad as a producer. Not great, but it's not bad, so we'll improve it. Yeah, this should be good to go here. And here. I have forests and hills blocking us if it worst comes to worst. You are going to go here. Actually, you know what? It's probably best to move those guys out onto the mines. Yeah, they can go here for now. It's kind of weird playing without the music. I just get tired of fighting with copy strikes. Okay. Which you would think wouldn't be that big of an issue with this game, but you'd be wrong. Vienna's a major producer, too. I'm just going to send him up here for now. I'll be waking up basically that entire stack to get them moving too. And once we have this line established, I can ship the rest of them off as well. Okay. Everything else in here is full up on movement and health, right? Yeah. That's most of what I have here is motorized infantry.
Oh, there was more than one light division. It just cycles through them weirdly. Okay, these Panzer Regiments are a big, big deal. Um, oh yeah. Okay, let's wake up everyone here. And we're all just going to step off the hill. We provided the right defensive bonus to keep the pulls from counterattacking us, but after that, there's no reason to stay there. Okay, this is an actual infantry. So is that. I've got you. You're just going to replace that guy. The others here, those are just regular infantry, so they're good to move as well. Okay, yeah, let's get the auto move done. You'll move next turn. I gotta be careful about how I move them, because they'll be exposed to enemy planes. Okay. Yeah, these guys are basically out of movement anyway. I'll use what they have left. They'll be ready next time. How many of these guys did I have? Okay. All right. Um grab our security divisions. You'll go here. This one I'll send there. I'm hoping the guy in the swamp doesn't get poisoning and die, but he might. Oh, these are actual infantry here. I'll take all of them and run. I have a lot of infantry. The Romanian one can stay here. Okay. So these guys can wake up too. Okay, I should have plenty there, so the security divisions... You know, you're all coming with me. Just until I secure France. I might need every able-bodied rifle over there. Um, okay, is that everything? I think that's all of them. Probably. It's good to have Poland dealt with. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Wasn't there a... 
This wasn't the airstrip that they took. Wasn't there an airstrip, like, right here that they were standing on? That's now gone? That's weird. Whatever. Alright, so now let's take a look over here. Um, I'm gonna move the 88 right there. Because they can't properly attack this spot without stepping onto this forest that has no road. As long as it doesn't have a road, I'm not gonna worry about it. Same thing with this guy. Because they can't bomb the Messerschmitts there. I should probably move the Messerschmitts out of here. That'd probably be the smart thing to do. Okay, do I have anything with two movement left? No, it doesn't look like it. I thought I moved a tank over here last turn, specifically so I would have at least one ready to go, but... I guess I was wrong. Well, I can get him before he can get away anyway. Or I could just kill him now. Okay, and I'm going to grab this. Just curious. Okay. Doesn't look like they have any subs out here yet. Cool. So everything's in place. I am going to want these cities, at least with some garrison, because they're right on the border. You never know what'll happen. I don't think cultural conversions can happen to this, but I don't want to take the chance. And these are all special fortresses, right? Okay, that's a... Yeah, those guys have already moved. Okay. Yeah, and that guy's still trying to move. So one more turn, we should have the wall up. That'll take care of Russia for a while. I think I can actually expand outward from here a little bit and make this less annoying to deal with. These are actual Russian infantry. I know they have a line of garrisons somewhere that are doing similar stuff, but looks like they don't want me to walk into their territory either. They probably see that I'm right on their border, and so they're they're getting real like uh, kind of nervous about it, which makes sense. I would be too. All right. Uh, well, let's go to next turn, I guess. Am I coming for my infantry or something? No, that can't be. Do they have a rite of passage? I can't help but notice they're all stopping, and I don't think they're moving from six squares away. They might not have signed a rite of passage first, which would be pretty dumb of them. If I can, I'm gonna kill all those guys, because Belgian infantry are reasonably powerful. And now my 87Bs are over here. I might have to use a Messerschmitt or two, though, just to kill any surrounding enemy fighters. I don't think that the Belgians or the Dutch have much, but they might have a few fighters. And 87Bs have a two defense, so they'll get shot down immediately. Ah, awesome. That typical Italy. Really? Yeah, that one actually succeeded. Jerks. Just bombing roads for no reason. Um, well, okay, there is a reason. I can use them, but still, jerks. Right, I forgot. The stupid French infantry have two movement. That's so frustrating. Oh, hello. I 
love my anti-aircraft field that's just in there. For some reason, they really want to bomb Bremen. But I have the Skarnhorst and the Nissan out of tank. Any actual bombing damage? Oh no, they'll hit the Messerschmitts first. That's right. But my fleet provides a ton of flak. That'll make it very difficult for them to do much in there. Is that it for British planes? If that's it for enemy aircraft, I will I will take it. Maybe they'll have some more ships come out and attack my mines. I would love it if they did that with their 18,000 battleships. That is. No more French and British planes bombing us. That's a surprise, actually. I know that the British have some more planes, right? Because a, a handful of them got through Bremen's defenses last time. And they couldn't have bombed something that would have hurt them otherwise. Love it if Yugoslavia went to war with Italy for walking in there. And then took that city. I know that Yugoslavia can, technically, because they did it in one of my... Like, I, I've only played one real German game very far. I started one and didn't get very far in it. But when I started uh, the other one and I attacked Yugoslavia, they were so angry that I attacked them. They turned over and hit uh, Tehran, I think it is. Or Tirana. The, uh, the Italian city that's right there. And immediately took it from them. And then, of course, because they're Yugoslavia, they couldn't stop me, so I just took it back. And then I had the city. Okay, yeah, let's get these manufacturing plants online. It takes a handful of turns, but once they get up there, they're awesome. Um, yeah, get the greenery first. Now we can work on this other stuff. Germany comes reasonably industrialized right at the start. So that's pretty handy. Like, they have uh, factories and whatnot in all of their base cities, basically. So that speeds this process up by a significant margin. Do you even need that? They don't need a courthouse yet. Take, just take a hospital for the moment. Not all of the cities do. Sofia and Bucharest down here, and maybe even Budapest, do not have industrialization yet. So that takes a while. But most of our core cities do. Okay, um, let's grab you. There do not appear to be any fighters in the area. You stay where you are for the moment. I'll figure out what to do with you in a second. I would love to just push in and attack Amsterdam. Wow, man, Heinkels have range. Okay, get in here. We're just going to station everything in that, in this one city right here, because that gives us enough coverage to hit basically all of them. I don't want to move subs uh, too far, like non-manual movements, because the enemies might run over them. I don't think they'll move on to that square, so we should be fine. And the Norwegians, if they go to war with us on their turn, they have enough uh, flotillas right here with 30 attack and a handful of destroyers, and they'll sink a bunch of subs before I can deal with them, and it'll be super annoying. And I'd really avoid, rather avoid that if possible.
tanks. I think Breslau has an airport. Yeah, so I'll be maneuvering my paratrooper from there. Can't believe I didn't even lose a light division. I lost an actual panzer division, too. That's another 18 attack unit down the drain because I was foolish about how I fought Poland. Okay, those guys are going up there. Good enough. They can even act as pretty good bait. Uh, if it really comes down to it. They're easy targets, and the enemies will send tanks and whatnot to come get them. Or at least they can. I've, I've seen them do it more than once. You never know. Sometimes you get a really wounded enemy, and one of these guys is all it takes to put them down. All right, well, the rest of these Bulgarians, then I don't need to be here. Yeah, I'm going to be very, very unfriendly with Italy. Every time they step into my land, they're going to get kicked right back out. I'm going to be that way with all of my, you know, technical allies, because I don't like them. My fleet turns into a pretty formidable force if I can get those two pocket battleships up here. They're not going to be easy to pull off. At least this one. I, I doubt it'll be easy to pull off. The British fleet is ginormous up near Scapa Flow. Particularly, it's got a pile of battleships. Uh, those things, pocket battleships, are less powerful than battle cruisers, which are marginally less powerful than the battleship. The only advantage they have is that they're fast, but, you know, you got to come down through the North Sea, and if they have a couple ships nearby, there's nothing you can do to prevent them from getting you. Let's go ahead and just put these guys down. I think we can take that. What's its defense? A six. I have motorized infantry around here, right? Or you. Oh, awesome. There's all those hit points I was waiting for.
Next turn we'll probably move in next to Amsterdam, possibly even take it, depending on how it goes. I forgot to send someone over to this one. Here, I'm a little more worried about that than Warsaw, so you can go there. They can get into here, but they can't do anything after that, so I don't really have to be worried about them. Oh, that's a lot of guys. You injured? Yes. I have something else with two movement. You'll do. No, I'm not going to worry about those Belgian garrisons. I will, however, target that. Oh, whoopsie. That hurts. 712, what do I have? I have this. Please don't die. Dang it! Come on! Are you kidding me? Okay, well I'm not going to attack with a light division. Because that'll just get killed. Maybe they won't make it into Brussels. That is so frustrating. I lose a second tank to this nonsense. Okay, well, you know, what can you do? Uh, let's see. I don't think I really need to micromanage anything else out here. I'd like to have him there, just to keep an eye on that radar tower. I have no reason to have my infantry put at risk out here. I have special fortresses for the very purpose. But why would you walk along the line? There is there are fortresses. No. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like the same thing. One, two, three, four. Yeah. You could still make it. You would think that if Zone of Control were a thing in this game, the game would take account of Zone of Control, but apparently not. Okay, so that gets all my infantry out of there. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just waiting for next turn before we uh, actually launch our attack. Cool. Well, let's get the enemy turn done with, and then I can end the episode. Okay, good. My 87Bs might still be able to get them. The French are going to throw a pretty decent sized army at us. Depending on what it is and how they use it, I might uh, postpone the invasion of the Netherlands for another turn or two. If I can crush the fresh French army as it stands, 
That'll prevent them from really being able to counterattack at all. And then once I get through the other two minor powers there, I can steamroll right through France. They're going to put up a decent fight because of the difficulty. Proper use of my planes should be enough to handle them. Really? I, just, I don't have another fighter in the air? Goodness, can you bomb something else? Except my workers? Okay, that's a... British battlecruiser. Or no, that one's probably French. The British ones are still up north. Those are going to fight Italy. Good. Better than me. That's a lot of guys. I might be able to take out those two ships. Ooh. Yeah, so something to bear in mind. Kind of a rule of this game. If you see the opportunity to take out an enemy capital ship, you have to take it. Almost universally. Uh, and a secondary rule for me is especially if it's British. Because with the French, whether they have ships here or not, I can push through it and get to the, the rest of their cities, but the British have cities everywhere. So they'll just keep on retreating to port, and they'll make it every time. And at this stage, they're not too bad because I have coastal subs that I can flood the enemy with. And coastal subs, I think they have a 16 attack. That's not terrible if you're using them as cannon fodder. So I can do some serious damage to enemy fleets early on. I just have to be careful not to throw everything I have at them. I think I saw two heavy cruisers move into that pile. Heavy cruisers I can handle with no issue at all. My Type 7s, I'd prefer not they... I prefer they don't die, but if... If I lose a Type 7 or 2 taking out enemy capital ships, 100% worth it. Especially these fast ones. Battleships aren't that bad, because I can usually get them before they return to port. Unless they're in a stack, and then they're pretty bad. Whoa, what in the world happened there? Oh, Italian bombers. You guys aren't staying there. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. They destroyed my barracks, those jerks. Okay, build Panzer threes. I need more tanks right on the front. Already we're dealing with pollution, of course. Uh, this one, let's go with an offshore platform. I can make use of that. Yeah, Danzig, that's about as big as it'll ever get. That's pretty bad, but... That's what you can expect. It's between two powerhouse cities. Now let's get a library first. The faster I can cut down on my research time, the better. Build a harbor, I guess. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for this one, then. I don't think I'm going to take this any further this turn. I'm curious. Those are France. This is all British. I can use my door nears if I want to, like one or two of them, just to see what's going on over here. I don't really care what's happening down here. The French and the Italians can kill themselves on each other for all I care. I'm not even fighting these things yet, so that doesn't matter. What are we looking at here? Oh, these are regular infantry and flak. I'm not going to fight them until they step into here. I'm going to hopefully 
be able to use some of my 87Bs to kill these four Belgian infantry before they make it back. And then I think I'm going to load a bunch of army HQs. No, I'm not going to use the HQs. I'll hit these guys with my fleet first and see what that does. If it doesn't take them all out, I have some HQs here. I can wheel them up here, put a couple infantry there to defend them, and bombard these things as well, and maybe take them out with, with my HQs. Because, yeah, they can all make it. So that'll be pretty damaging. And then I have a bunch of subs standing by. If I can take out, particularly, the Hood, the Renown, and the Repulse, that's all three of Britain's battle cruisers out of the game. Which is awesome, because those things are terrifying. Because they're they have almost the strength of a battleship, and they're as fast as a light cruiser, or as a heavy cruiser is. Um, no, they're faster than heavy cruisers. I thought those things had six for some reason. So there are six heavy cruisers right here, three battle cruisers. We're going to try to sink all of these right here. And kill those guys. Not going to fight them. And then I might move a, a big army right here next to Amsterdam, so that we can get ready to attack it next turn. And I think that'll be good. Um, in the interim, between this episode and the next, I will also go through and put little letters on the beginnings of all these names so I don't have to dig through them every time I want to find what I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this one. Please check the link in the description for my book. If you like a look of it, give it a read, and if you like the read, give it a positive review. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.